Hey, Agent. Doing a little research, huh? It's nothing that can't wait. Well, good. Because I did that sweep like you asked. Found something. What are we looking at? A homing beacon sends a broadcast, not a direct signal. So we can't discover directly who's tracking us. Transceivers along our route pick up the beacon signal. If I triangulate the origin of someone collecting the beacon's data from those transceivers... We are impressed. But we don't believe we have ever heard of this planet. Rishi? I know it. Pirates and all that. Never been, though. Then it's your lucky day, Kalia. We're going to Rishi. True! You're here! You're, you're really here! You know me? Oh, sure. I've heard you described in great detail. Great detail! You run the Howling Tempest Gang, the most daring, ruthless pirates of the Gordian Reach. Wherever that is. I don't know what you think you've heard, but you're mistaken. Nice try, but there's no mistake in the talk of the town. Seems like everyone in Raiders Cove is going on about you and all your insane adventures. <laughs> Talk about your tough customers. You're basic. It's very natural. My people pick up languages and stuff real easy. Some of us like to be formal. I'm more of a cantina talk type. Speaking of cantinas, you'll want to watch for Goro. He wants to fight you so bad, it's not even funny. What's a Goro? Rodian. With the eyes and ears and the snout. He's a supreme something or other, I forget. Really tough for his size. Goro's at the blaster's path. Local watering hole. Probably washing down some Tonitron jerky with some Intellian fungo lager. I'm not allowed there anymore. Long story. <laughs> so I hope someone hollows your big fight. Wouldn't want to miss a single bloody shot. I hear you're looking for me. Or someone who fits my description, at least. Kastundile. Jigo holalukuta. I think you just did that yourself, Goro. Hang on. You're not about to wreck my place again, are you? I'm still filling in blaster holes.
inigu daiji liska chalangawa. Kusa mala chikuta, ikosa mose ala chuta. Care to explain what this is all about? Pata ti tok maki chisa chubala wawuni. Makipuna mali tuta o nishka. Last chance to back out before you've made a huge mistake, Gora. Kuchuso, you mata chiko toya. You know, a few blaster marks is one thing. Gives the place some charm. But this... Listen up. I'm here on official Imperial business. Interference of any sort will be considered an act of sedition, punishable by death. Now, with that in mind, who's ready to provide the name of anyone spreading lies about me? Everyone's talking about you. Couldn't tell you how it all got started, but I can tell you who gave Goro the idea to come after you. Don't do it, Karina. You know what Margok would say about ratting out a resident? If Margok ever pays the tab all you Nova Blades have run up, then maybe I'll start to care what he thinks. Guy you want is Kai Zykin, leader of the Corellian-run scoundrels. A real gem. Goro said Zykin owes you a pile of credits. He hired Goro to take you out for a fraction of what it would cost to pay you. Where do I find him? Beats me. It's not like I hang out with the guy. Ask Zykin's crew. They're all over Raider's Cove. Like stink flies. Others might not appreciate your cooperation, but I do. Figure it's either help out, or have a bigger mess to clean up. I can handle the Nova Blades being sore with me. See ya, Goro. Hope your brother doesn't decide this was my fault. Well, look at this, scoundrels! <laughs> a visit from... from Krida. I was making a dramatic pause, Tomoda. I know it's the Hurling Tempest. Kai Zykin. I'm sure you've heard my name, most commonly accompanied by a longing sigh from one of my former conquests. Now here's the deal. The Corellian-run scoundrels may owe you a debt, but it's not coming out of my hide. Take it up with accounting. I don't know where everyone got the idea I belong to some gang. But I'm sick of hearing it. Wait, you're saying you're not... But that doesn't... Oh, you're just trying to confuse me. Yakimbaba. What? Was that a slam? Did you just slam me? Okay, all right. Listen, we can't pay. The freedom to operate in Raider's Cove isn't exactly free. After the Nova Blades take their cut, we're tapped. Not before you get an itch. I do have something of value. Something I know you want. Quit stalling and start talking. I record all my holocausts, and that includes the one that warned me you were coming to Rishi. I'll show it to you. Tomoda, get my data pad! Oh, that's bad, Tomoda. That's, uh, that's bad. Oh, right! Yes, thank you, Tomoda! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Here, you could find and unlock the case with this tracer, and you could even keep the data pad. How's that? I'll take your data pad, but that doesn't mean I'm done with you. Gotta hand it to you, the Whirling Tempest crew don't mess around. Right, that's what I said. I expect you now to deliver a warning. The Howling Tempest Gang is one of the galaxy's most feared pirate associations. 
They have just now set their sights on Rishi. As you know, the Corellian run scoundrels owe the Howling Tempest clan a great many credits. There is no telling what will happen when you are discovered. I suggest you herald the gang's arrival to draw unwanted attention on them. I'm dispatching several droids across Raiders Cove to do the same. Or you could do nothing and suffer the consequences. The choice is yours. Greetings to you! Would you like to hear a true story about the legendary Howling Tempest Gang? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize it was you! How exciting. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoever put you up to all this lied to you. I'm not who you think. I thought my master told me everything, but I had no idea you were so modest. Why, in the time since your arrival, you have already defeated the illustrious Goro, brought fear to the Corellian-run scoundrels, and carried a Corsairs. Even the Nova Blades have taken notice of you. My master would be most impressed. Why is that impressive? What's so special about the Nova Blades? I'm afraid you would need to ask my master. Fortunately, I've been authorized to direct you to a rendezvous point, so you can do just that. Oh, do be careful in your travels. Legend or no, Goro's brother Grom is severely displeased as to Goro's fate. If you and that Rodian are related, I'd hate to see what you came from. Arun Shindai, tell me to sing Norangatuk. I think Onore Donaksa, Tingno Bum Fry, Ramiruk Shak. Tut now, Grim Slim Monita, Rikoka Shuro Ren. Grim, Javitsa! Gora, Gora! Demon stable drawer! Don't sona, no more that in Pavori Freya. Pine Nicro, Clorubar. I don't think I will. Don't see the point, really. Show's over, folks. Lana Benico. Commander, pleased to see you again. I hope you'll forgive the cloak and dagger routine. You must grow tired of it. I'll make an exception this time. For you. I see you haven't changed. Good. Not interrupting anything, am I? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't really care. Hello, Theron. Is that a good hello or a bad one? Outside of Lana, I can never tell with you Imperial types. You've shown you want the Revanites stopped as much as anyone. That makes you an ally. Good. Glad we're clear on that front, because here we go. The Revanites are here, on Rishi. That's why we led you here under false pretenses. They can't know we're onto them. We need you to go out there and make life hard for the Revanites' allies, the Nova Blades. I know the Nova Blades are running things in Raiders Cove, but how are they helping the Revanites? From what we've been able to gather, the Revanites agents in the Empire and Republic have been feeding the Nova Blades intel on ship activity. The Blades then use that intel to ambush military patrols and key shipping lanes on both sides. They're essentially remapping hyper routes. Hate to admit it, but I haven't been able to remotely slice the Blades' computers. I have to have their security shut down. The trouble is, we can't have any suspicion raised that our attack is related to the Revanites' activities. Hence the cover. I should appear to be after the Nova Blades, and the Nova Blades alone. Yeah, you've got it exactly. Bust up their operations, get their attention, make yourself look legitimate, and then go for the throat. 
We have a trusted source who's determined that the Nova Blade's base, a wrecked ship called the Aggressor, contains their entire security apparatus. That's our final target. And who might that be? Someone you already know. Two someones, if we're being precise. We'll place you in range of the first Nova Blade target. That's where our source is waiting. It really is good to see you again. Been hiding out a long time. It's nice to see someone who isn't a complete stranger. Good luck out there. Yes. May the Force serve you well. It's you! It's really you! I can hardly believe my optical circuits! I had a feeling Lana and Theron were talking about you when they said they had help. A bad feeling. All bluster aside, this planet's inhabitants are not to be trifled with. The Nova Blades in particular are a powerful and organized group. That is why we intend to depower and disorganize them by firing from Jakaro's ship on the targets of your choosing. If we're using a ship, we could take out their entire depot. If you are to be implicated as the perpetrator of these acts, you must be seen flanking their assets. <laughs> I'd wish you good luck if I thought you'd need it. We'll keep in touch. It's like a war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down. Be an overplay. Kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Markok... Tell me everything you know about the Revenites. And this ends. Oh, it's about to end but not how you want. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. I was hoping you'd pick that one. The job's done. Excellent news, but it's only our first step. One of the Nova Blades mentioned a slave camp, somewhere remote. We should strike there next. Good call, actually. I ran across some chatter about that place. Basically, anyone in Raiders Cove who doesn't give the Nova Blades a slice of their action or whatever gets locked away. Some get put into hazardous labor, like mining, but most are sold as slaves to visitors from off-world. It's a lucrative business for the Blades. Give me the coordinates and I'll get started. It's not that simple. We don't actually know where the Slave Island is. You'll have to slip in with one of the Nova Blade's cargo shipments. I'm sure the island's heavily guarded, so try not to get killed. I believe Theron means to say he's concerned for your safety, as am I. May the Force serve you well. Jakaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the Blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. You're free to do what you want now. Yeah, and we had a talk about that. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. Tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright?
would say the Nova Blades are properly distracted, wouldn't you? That would be an understatement. Theron's been monitoring communications. You've caused quite a stir. Want some gratification? Here, check this out. Just recorded. They're blasting up my supplies, my foot soldiers, taking my workers. What are you people prepared to do about it? This appears to be your problem, not ours. How would you like it if I made it your personal problem? And give me Revan! I want to talk to Revan! No, I don't think so. You don't put Revan on. The Nova Blade stop rerouting galactic traffic. That ain't negotiable. Revan. Commodore Margok, are you threatening to alter the terms of our deal? I paid you to do a job and you've done it well. But that's over now. I no longer have any use for your Nova Blades. Hey, I know Torch and her Mandalorian clan up and left us. But the Blade's still got a lot to offer. Not if you don't have your own house in order. Put an end to the upstart causing you trouble and I'll consider resuming our alliance. You really did it. You got them running scared. This is no time to let up. I'm going to get back out there and finish this. Now, not to sell you short or anything, don't think this will be a cakewalk all of a sudden. The Nova Blades still have an impressive roster of hardened criminals at their disposal, and the aggressor is still heavily fortified. The aggressor's their headquarters. You've seen it. A crashed ship Margok turned into a fortress. Can't get in without the proper security codes. That won't be a problem for me. We'll get Jakaro to lend a hand all the same. If nothing else, the activity will keep him from picking apart D4 any further. Saren? Finally in. Nice work. Now to see where Margok's hiding all his secrets. You. You dirty, no-good pirate scum. This is it, Margok. The Nova Blades are finished. And so are you. My forebears founded Raiders Cove. This is my island, and I'm not giving it up. So come on in. Do your worst. In the end, you ain't coming out alive. They've got live slicers, and they're managing network security on the fly. I can't do anything until they're offline. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. This is my ship. Think you can just walk on in and be left alive? Sir, are you getting this? Loud and clear, I'm in. Full access. This is the sort of momentum we could never create on our own. We need to maintain that momentum. Surely if the Revanites are done with the Nova Blades as Revan indicated, they're on to the next stage of their plan. Revan's hardly the first Force user I've had to take down. It won't be a problem. It's not just Revan here, it's all his co-conspirators. We don't know how many in the Republic and Empire are pulling strings for him. While Theron's pulling down data, I suggest you start to make your way back to Raider's Cove. Hopefully you'll have found something of use by then. What have we learned from the aggressor? Very little, I'm afraid. It would appear someone took it upon themselves to corrupt much of the data as a last resort. It's a real mess, getting fragments but nothing incredibly coherent. The one thing that does keep turning up is the Mandalorian Margot brought up earlier, the one they call Torch. What about her? Well, it looks like Torch and Margot were thick as thieves for a while, then something happened. It had to do with the Revanites. Don't really know the details, but it looks like Torch moved her whole clan to another island here on Rishi. I've got the coordinates. Jakaro, ready your ship. I'll go see what this Torch has to say for herself. I'm sending Jakaro out on a scouting run. I've made local arrangements for your transportation should he not return in time. Well, you've been busier than I thought. Get whatever information you can from the Mandalorians. With any luck, they'll lead us to the Revanites. Warning. 
Adequate encryption has not been verified. Transmission interception is possible. Please confirm identity. I'm authorized only to speak with the Red Blade. Maybe I'm the Red Blade. Maybe I'm not. Who's calling? Partial authorization granted. I carry a message from your loyal associate, Jeek. Let's hear the message. No audio available. Your loyal associate requests a meeting at the attached coordinates. Please proceed with all appropriate haste. Also, welcome back to Rishi after your long sojourn on Hata. You're now two meters inside an Umbaran jamming field. If I've pressed the right buttons, we should have adequate privacy. I received your message for the Red Blade. Yes, perhaps a bit obvious, but I thought your pirate cover appropriate given the circumstances. So how is Independent suiting you, Agent? No one to answer to or interfering with your decisions? I didn't expect we'd ever meet again. I'm glad you called. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm sure you understand if I'm not here to socialize. How are you even alive? As it turns out, there was concern that I had arranged for certain documents to be released in the event of my death. Instead of execution, I was granted early retirement. Sounds very straightforward. Very. I assure you, however, I am no longer involved. I've come only to ask you a personal favor. Everything I have is at your disposal. No questions asked. Name the job. Shara Jen, the former keeper and watcher too. Go on. After the Star Cabal's disillusion, Shara was unwell. The damage to her brain from the Cabal's trap had been considerable. I remember her medical droid. She had trouble speaking. Add to that her conditioning. She was programmed for loyalty, and we had her working a rogue operation. That aggravated her existing cognitive and psychogenic trauma. She's fortunate she didn't become a vegetable. During Lord Malgus's uprising and the chaos that followed, she was unable to protect herself. What happened? She was captured by the Republic. I intend to free her. Shara saved my life more than once. She was important to me for a long time. I owe her this. As do I. I've made arrangements already. She was carbonite frozen and placed aboard a prison transport, which was then raided by pirates. And now the raiders have brought their cargo to Rishi? Precisely. The final step is to retrieve the body and erase all evidence. No one can know what happened. I intend to negotiate Shara's purchase from the raiders. While I do, I need you to provide leverage and cover our trail. It won't be a problem. What kind of leverage am I providing? To begin with, I suggest you slice the Raiders' databanks and transmit their files to me. That should facilitate negotiations. I'm sure they've made indiscretions we can use. And after that? You'll have the frequency to listen in. You know how this works. You'll find what I need. We can rendezvous here once I've acquired the Carbonite. All right. Let's bring Shara home. How are you feeling? I've been thawed from carbonite, pierced by 25 needles, and injected with something I can only describe as liquid humiliation. I'm pleased you're doing well. I'm right. Did you tell me? I can see stars. Am I on a spaceship? Yes, you are. You're safe and you're going to be better soon. Don't condescend to me. My apologies. If you'll excuse me. Hold transmission, silence audio. You said we'd all meet back here. Yes, I lied. She's on her way to a private medical facility. I couldn't be sure you'd approve. We both have her best interests at heart. Or am I wrong about that? No, I suppose not. Shara will be cared for in secret by a group of richly compensated medics and scientists. In a very slow and regrettably painful process, the damage to her brain will be repaired and her loyalty programming undone. You can do that? There are no guarantees. My people say it should be possible. When she is free, I have advised her not to rejoin the Empire's service and to make a life away from conflict. She's never had that chance before. She always deserved better than what we could offer. On some level, I think she hated her programming. If I'd known she could be cured... She couldn't then. And I know. 
Talk to her if you like. Say your goodbyes. Shara, do you recognize me? Are you concerned about hibernation blindness or the brain damage? Of course I recognize you. The minister, former minister, says you helped me. I don't want to do this, Cypher. I don't want them to decondition me. You don't have to be scared. You're not a prisoner. Say the word and I'll talk to the minister. I do have to be scared. The Empire altered my limbic system. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you, Cypher. Everything else just got in the way. And I'm alright, I am. I just don't know who I'll be without. You're the smartest person I've ever met. And you're very good at solving mysteries. I have every confidence you'll figure it out. Maybe, but I hate mysteries. I'm glad you're here. Stay and talk for a little while. I believe our business is done. I have a retirement to get back to, and while I don't expect we'll meet again, I believe I've said that before. Retired or not, you're going to watch over that woman. You'll see to it that she recovers, and you'll make sure no enemies find her after. She's going to live a very peaceful life. Yes, she will. But don't underestimate her either. There is one other thing, by the way. I may be out of the game, but you're not. I hear rumors intelligence is on the verge of reforming at last. Darth Mar wants you to advise and oversee. Independent, but with full access. Darth Mar considers my independence to be treason. Yes, but you'd be a check against any Sith who'd use intelligence for their own schemes. A new agency will need new personnel to replace those lost. I have files with potential recruits, untraditional but highly skilled. What kind of untraditional recruits? Military deserters, terrorist sympathizers, and Malgus's alien insurgents. All of them believers in a better empire. If we're going to survive, we need everyone who believes in any empire, working together. I'll make sure these recruits are put to good use. If I understand the coming threats, you'll need them. But as I said, I'm out of the game, and the files are yours. Watch for enemies within and without. Everything is on you now, and you know the stakes for civilization. <laughs>